What's up guys? Welcome to a brand new hernia, uh, sorry, I mean video. <laughs> Going to get this stupid hernia fixed. Uh, I have to drink this Ensure Clear Colored Strawberry Pre-Surgery Drink. That wasn't, that was actually nice. I might pick some of those up for just some, some snacks. Okay, let's go cut my belly open. <sighs> All right, let's rock this biatch. I have my uh, partner in crime here. Taylor, how, how are you feeling? Nervous. More or less nervous than my toe surgery? Because you More don't seem- More nervous. You seem more stressed my toe surgery. No, this is more nerve-wracking to me. Because it's my that, intestines? It's your intestines and like, I have to like carry you and I'm not really strong. I only can lift 60 pounds. See if you can pick me up. Ow, the hernia! <laughs> no. You can't do it? Is this your VIP suite? That's the VIP, sir. All right. Dang. <laughs> Is this thing a helix? You guys want to see Taylor's first transition? All right. Um, okay, right here. Uh, all right, now whip the camera one way, then whip it back. Whoa, look at that. Guys, I don't want to freak you out. My butt cheeks are flapping in the wind right now. I'm going to do you a favor. I'm not going to turn around. We have to sit here for two hours. What am I going to do for two hours? I wish I had some Resident Evil. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna get this thumbnail. What? A, I gotta look more injured so people will click on it more. That's already, that's good. Give me a, find a knife over there. Hold on. <laughs> okay, we got here at eight thirty. It is eleven fifteen. I think we still have another hour to wait. I got my Ric Flair IV dripped. All plugged in, waiting for the anesthes anesthesia, anesthetha, anest I don't know. I'm, I'm bored. I got a freaking hernia. Our pets, heads are falling off. We'll play a game. When you when you do the countdown, I'm going to try to stay up the whole time. Well, okay. This is, okay. Well, Let's see. <laughs> this is not a countdown yet. This is just a relaxation. Oh, you know, okay. okay. This is so, just the fun time. This is just getting a little loopy. Yeah, just a little loopy. A little tequila in there. Well, I can feel it already. <laughs> oh, you haven't started yet. Oh. Yeah, you. you oh, okay. Is this a countdown? No, yeah. Are we leaving? Bye, love you. Yeah, we leaving. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. See you later. <laughs> love ya. If this is the last clip, upload this. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> love you. Um, I'm hiding in the bathroom because I'm scared to do this in front of people. But all went well. I think I'm pretty positive. The doctor said it was great. Um, he gave me an update. He gave me pictures. I can't wait to see you soon. I love you so much, and I hope you feel okay. Hey. hey. How are you feeling? Great. Did you take some pictures of him? Oh, yeah. I got some pictures of you. You look beautiful. Thanks. How are you feeling? Scale out of 1 out of 10. We're doing great. Hernia's gone. Um, I Do had you know you actually had an extra hernia? What? I had two hernias? You had a little hernia in your belly button. What? Yeah. And good news, they knocked out the penis reduction surgery because that was getting out of control. And the doctor said that he's never seen someone with so much muscle mass. I know. Wait, really? No. I, no, no. He's, he, it was the opposite. It was the least muscle mass he's ever seen his whole life. <laughs> I said I deadlifted 650 pounds one day. He said, get out. We don't want liars in here. <laughs> I missed you. Check it out. Well, well, we got a little scar there. Scar there. And then he said that there was another hernia near my belly button. These can be pretty gnarly you little hear scars. Well, I was sitting out there. One of the girls... One of the doctors came out and was like, you'll never guess. And she's like, it was like, how many do you think he had? Her husband had a her hernias. And she's like, what, six? He had 12. 12 hernias? That's 12. too many hernias. Too many. Man, I'm just getting screwed up. But you know. Do you think it was the gummy bear? No, the gummy bear, yeah. Gummy bear sliced me up. But, you know what these scars remind me of? That the past is real. 
Sit down. I should make a song about that. Okay. How would it go? <clears throat> I want a margarita, a pizza, and some sour strips. Stat. Doctor's orders. Hello, everybody. Um, I just dropped Max off at the house. He is resting. He is getting some sleep. But he has not eaten since last night. And so he's starving. I'm going to H-E-B to get some groceries, some snacky poos for Maxi Poo, his medicine, and everything else. And I thought, you know what? Taylor's taking over the vlog this week. I'm taking you guys along with me. Shall be fun. And let's see what I get. <gasps> Bye. Okay, now that was a lot of stress and anxiety filming in there and I don't even know if I got the right clips, Max. I'm sorry if I didn't do you justice. I tried my best. I did my best. Now we're going home. I have to make him some dinner, give him his medicine. And we can chill. Oh, dang. Give me a little balloon. Yeah. Thank you, my love. Oh yeah, a little update. We are chilling. I um, am grinding on my laptop, really enjoying this whole laptop, even though I like how you can plug it in with a USB-C, but I think it's just plugged in USB-C to like a outlet, yeah. like a, like a, like a, U, like a USB outlet. And I think it's not, it's charging, but it's going down in battery. So I think it's not powerful enough. So I might have to bust that out, but laptop max. Hernia Max and Post Hernia Max both really like the laptop. All right, um, it is currently, what what year is it? Wednesday right now, Taylor's at the gym. Let me give you a little update how I'm feeling. I, I've just been living on this couch. I don't even know what to film because I'm not doing anything. Just hanging out on my laptop, my laptop. Um, my belly hurts, guys. My belly, uh, I mean, I got gang banged by like a whole bunch of robots. Like literally a, a, a robot threesome went into my intestines. It's, it's not, it, it is not fun. Why does everything have to be a sexual reference? I don't know. It just feels like I have like a, oh, <coughs> oh man, if I cough, it hurts so bad. It's essentially just like a terrible stomach ache cramp, like all the time. Ow. I just, I don't, I'm going to try, like, I'm going to try to get up and maybe like, Hey, dude, for a little walk or something. It just so out. Hey, pro tip: don't ever get a hernia. Just if you're thinking about getting a hernia, because you're like, oh, Max got one. It's so cool. He's so cool. No, just don't, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Hey, you wanna go for a walk? Can you sit? No, sit. Bless you. Gazoon tight. Speak. Uh, speak. No, no, my, my hernia. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what you just said, but okay. Look at us, dude. We are out in the world. We're walking around post hernia, baby. Giving you a little uh, different vibe in this video. Hello, you are just the most handsome guy in the whole world. <laughs> Hello. Um, I <clears throat> wanted to kind of update you guys on some business stuff with Sour Strips because I like to be transparent. I like to be so transparent you can see through me into my organs and see my next hernia that's forming right now. Um, okay, so <clears throat> when you when you create stuff, you have manufacturers, right? Because I'm not trying to manufacture stuff. I'm not trying to have, you know, a, a candy manufacturing plant in my warehouse. Just like with clothing, I'm not trying to have clothing manufacturing in my warehouse. You, you have a manufacturer, and they produce stuff and how it works is you get samples you approve the samples you make changes to the samples and then when it's final you go this is perfect and schlag don't change a single thing i love it and then you get the bulk and uh, ideally it's the exact same as your samples because that's how quality control should work and uh, with clothing ever forward apparel i dealt with this year over year over year and every single brand deals with this Gymshark, Alpha Elite, Buff Bunny, Young LA, all of them deal with this shit, is you get the final bulk and it's different than the samples. And you're like, what the fuck? I don't understand. I, I, I said, don't change anything. And then it's different. I don't understand. And you just deal with it. it. It's just, it's something that is very frustrating and it happens over and over and over and over and over again. And I thought with 
um, food, it'd be a little different because I'm like, okay, here's a formula, enter it in the computer door, and then it should be the exact same. And when I went to change manufacturers for sour strips and over in Spain, um, went to the manufacturer, we finalized all the samples, I tasted all of them and I was like, perfect, oh my gosh, we tweaked everything, made sure the sour was so sour, we made sure the flavor was so flavorful, and I was like, this is perfect, this is exactly how we want it, don't change a damn thing, and they're like, okay, and then we get uh, all the bulk, and I, I noticed, because I'm someone that like, I can tell, if something's off even just a little bit, is it with clothing, if I would put a shirt on, it'd be like, something's different. Something's different. And with candy, same kind of thing. When I eat it, I'm like, mm, something's different, something's different. And basically what happens is they goofed on the first production run on these new sour strips with the sour intensity. And uh, it affected all of them, but they're pretty much all the same. Like, it just, they weren't as sour as they needed to be. And it actually affected uh, Rainbow, I think, the most. Rainbow is the least sour of what it's supposed to be, which is really annoying because Rainbow is our most popular flavor. And now we have fixed it all, right? But the problem is, I got a whole bunch of this candy that's not as sour as I want it to be and not up to the max standards floating around the world and now we got to go through all that so basically this whole story is I'm, I'm is, is is just to say that if you get the new sour strips and you're like max why are they not as sour as they maybe like why aren't they as sour as you said they were gonna be we're fixing it we had a little problem i yelled at the manufacturer they understand we're fixing it we're changing it and it's just really disappointing but i just i'm trying to just like tell you that um, I'm like when there's a problem, I want to be open about it and tell you that I'm on it because I care a lot about the brand and I care a lot about how people perceive it. And when you switch to something new and it's not exactly what you wanted it to be, and the people's first, you know, re 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 like first idea of it is like, hey, what, what, what is it? Uh, you know, I'm on it. I'm working on it. It's really uh, bothering me a lot. But uh, you know, in like one or two months, it'll all be swapped out and all the new stuff i don't even know what i'm why am i even telling you guys this i don't know i'm just because i'm i'm bothered for the fact that the sour candy isn't as sour as it should be but just know that i'm increasing all of them hoes to be super sour and it's going to be super delicious and uh yeah i've it's my mission to make sour strips the best dang candy brand in the entire world and sometimes you got to go ever backwards to go ever forward and uh, yeah, I'm super excited for all you guys to try the new formula. I mean, it's a whole new candy essentially because it's, it's a reformulation of the product and uh, all the flavors. I think watermelon's like the best. I really do. I think watermelon, the new blue raspberry, the new cotton candy. People used to say their old, our old cotton candy tasted like a banana, which is strange. I feel like that's like people saying cilantro tastes like soap. But the new cotton candy, if you weren't a believer then, now try it. Oh my God, it tastes like cotton candy. What does cotton candy even taste like? Cotton candy is just sugar. I'm rambling here. I'm super excited. By the way, that new product, that new candy that's coming out in June. Oh, oh my God, it's so good. And I just got the bulk in and guess what? It's exactly like it should be. It's, I, I, it's, uh, I, can't, I'm, 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 I think I'm high on these drugs. I think I'm high in the painkillers. I need to go home. Sour Strips 2.0 is uh, right now Sour Strips 1.8, but just know that we're changing it, we're fixing it. It's gonna be back to being super, super sour. Okay, Hernia Max out. You know, I'm gonna say one more thing here. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just a guy trying to figure stuff out and getting into the whole food manufacturing business is uh, something that I never really thought I would get into. And um, I'm learning a lot and uh, mistakes are going to happen, but I think it's important that you're just upfront with the mistakes to the customer base and you be honest about them. And um, yeah, and just know that like, it's not something that I take lightly in terms of, uh, in terms of quality control. So now I'm on top of my shit. I'm on top of the manufacturer and I promise you that Sour Strips is going to be Number one, his muscles are number one. His sour candy brand is number one. 
His hernias are number one. You know, I just listened to that clip back, um, and it was like f five minutes. Okay, here's the clip. Uh, why didn't I just say the cliff notes? Hey guys, by the way, the new sour strips, uh, they're mildly less sour than I wanted them to be, and just give me about a month or two, and we've increased the sour by like 25%, and they're gonna be even mo better. So don't you worry, sour strips is, okay. Why did I say that? Why, why, didn't I, why did I ramble for so, I don't know. I don't know. And now I'm really starting to lose my mind because I'm like, what if people try the sour strips and they like them perfectly as is? What if, what if, what if no one even, even noticed anything? What if it's just me and my crazy brain being over obsessed about the smallest minute changes? I don't, oh my gosh, why am I fi still filming these clips? I gotta go. Can you stay on FaceTime with me? Yeah, what's up? What's up? There's this guy that was following me around Target and then he like was like checking out at the same time as me and I just wanna stay on the phone. Stay right there, I'm gonna come beat his ass. Okay, uh, myself and my attack dog are headed up to walk Taylor to her car. I, you know, this isn't the first time this has happened. Taylor's called me before because some like guy was like following her around at like Home Goods or something and she didn't feel comfortable and I, I just, I hate that this is like a thing. Like is this, does this happen to a lot of people? Does this happen to a lot of you girls? Like is it like creepy ass old dudes? It's like, what are you doing? What's that line in Ricky Bobby, the little kid? He's like, I'm only seven years old but I'll whoop your ass. So what happened? Um, some guy was following me around Target. Well, there's two guys following me around Target. And then I knew he was following me around because we started in the meat section. But don't make a joke about that. And then went all the way around the store, went to Sour Strips, picked up Sour Strips. Then he followed me into, he didn't have any products. And then he followed me into like the grocery aisle, like the like cleaning supplies, then he bought, grabbed Ziploc bags. Then he followed me into the female, like, sleepwear section, because I was like, oh, I'll stay in here. Like, he's not going to come over here. Continued to follow me that way. Followed me to check out. And then I checked out first, left, and then I guess he was behind me. And then when I walked out, that guy that I pointed to was sitting, like, in between his car and your car, like, right next to your like driver's side door like just smoking a cigarette and like like saw me like walk up and then I like turned back around and then he followed me back into the store and then went into like the little Easter like front section and like just stayed in there while I waited for you and then he was like walking around and like the shampoo and the makeup and then he picked something up and went and bought it and then that's when he walked out and I was like I'm behind him and you pulled in that's scary being a girl's fun <laughs> I was saying this is not the first time this has happened to you no, but it, it's terrifying. I'll protect. I know. You need some mace is what you need. You need to be Mace Taylor. There you go. Thank you. Yes. I don't, I don't want you to think I'm like overthinking. No, I don't. No, I don't. Finishing out the night with some stir fry. By the way, look at this new tool we got. It's a, it's like the, it's the Meat Masher 9000. You can beat your meat so much. I got to stop at the sexual references because... Do you notice there's no sponsor in this video? Do you wanna know why? Is it because I wanted to give you guys unsponsored content and just, just me? Or is it because no brands want to work with me anymore because it's too many sexual references? I'm never making a that's what she said joke ever again. I'm, I'm, I can't, I have to. But look at this thing. You just go in here and we used to use this guy to, to beat up the meat, but now, this on Amazon and it, it's just it's just the best. But we are gonna have some dinner and then we are currently uh, watching the entire MCU saga. We just finished Age of Ultron on Avengers. Next up, Ant Man, which might be one of the lamest superheroes. Actually, you know the lamest superhero is Hawkeye. He doesn't have any powers. Neither does Black Widow. Like one, it, someone's like they're doing all this fancy stuff. All one person has to do is go, pew, and they're ah, like, oh, oh no. Oh, I forgot that I'm just a human. That's not a superhero. Superheroes have powers and they can shoot stuff out of their butts and their hands and stuff. My favorite's Wanda and Groot. Yeah, see, they have the actual powers and one's a tree. Um, but I look, I'm going to give you two videos. This, I feel like nothing happened and a lot of stuff happened in this video. We defended honor hernia surgery. I told him about the less sour sour strips that I'm fixing that you know I'm like super yes. stressed about. <sighs> Two videos this week. I'll see you guys again on Sunday. Thank you for hanging out with my hernia. 
what crazy updates will you get in the next one? Do you want to see pictures of the hernia? I'll put them in the next video. Do you want to see pictures of inside my belly? Yeah, they're, it's pretty wild. All right, I'm rambling. Thank you guys. Smash thumbs up button. Smash it for the hernia. Smash it for improving sour strips. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Eat more sour strips. Don't get a hernia. And, and ever forward. And screw old creepy ass men making people feel uncomfortable. Two old men. Two? Two. I have to beat two people's ass, damn.